Oftentimes people ask me, HR Evolution, how did you come up with that name for the organization? Well, it really came down to the standpoint of I wanted a name of the organization to represent what drives me, what is my internal desire. And, and the internal desire that I believe reflects not only my desire, but the longing, the longing I hear in the voices of the people that I speak to who say, you know what, we all have to work, but it doesn't have to be misery. It doesn't have to be drudgery. It doesn't have to be pay your dues. And so that's when I say HR Evolution is all about evolving the why and the way we work. And the why we work doesn't just have to be to pay the bills or make ends meet. The why can come down to what are we passionate about. And I contest to you that if we start positioning ourselves around not what do we want to be able to purchase, what is our consumption power, but what makes us happiest, what really drives us internally, that's going to produce a greater outcome for everybody considered. The way, the way that we approach work needs to vary as well. When you look up the, um, the, the word work in the dictionary, do you know it's described by other terms that say um, drudgery? Drudgery is a word that describes work, daily toil. You know, these sound like painful things. And I'm here to tell you that work doesn't have to be painful. It can be one of the most fulfilling experiences that you have. And I believe that work can be an element that enables us to evolve our society as well. Not just an engine for consumption. And that's where it comes down to HR evolution, evolving the why and the way we work. And it's just that simple pivot in our perspective that has, makes all the difference in the outcome for the, the people that work with HR Evolution.